The coronavirus crisis affects deeply the European economy and many companies are temporarily weakened by this crisis. We need to take care of them. Some sectors are key for our security, public health and sovereignty such as health, medical research or strategic infrastructure. And they deserve special attention. We need to know who invests from abroad in these companies and for which purpose. This is essentially important in a time of public health and economic crisis when we are more vulnerable. And we need to protect our critical assets and technologies. And this is a European issue. We have tools to do it. And I urge member states to use them. Today, we are issuing guidelines to help member states screen foreign direct investment and acquisitions of control or influence. EU rules already foresee screening of foreign investments. In addition, many member states have a national screening mechanism and I encourage member states to make use of them. To those member states that do not have such a mechanism, I tell them now is the time to create it. In the meantime, you should use all options to protect critical European companies from foreign takeovers or influence that could undermine our security and public order. This should, of course, be always done in compliance with EU law and international obligations. I want to be absolutely clear. The European Union is and will remain open to foreign direct investment. But we need to balance this openness with the need to preserve our economic sovereignty.